Hey, it's math time. If you're ready to add and subtract, there are a whole lot of numbers. We're getting smarter with every math fact. Hello, and welcome back to your third math lesson of the week. In today's lesson, we are going to be working with our doubles addition facts. That means that we're going to be adding the same number two times, like 8 plus 8 or 5 plus 5. If you're not very fast at your doubles math facts, it's easy to get fast at them. You just have to practice, practice, and practice. You'll get good at them. Let's see how quick you are with your doubles math facts. Try to say the sum before I do. Ready, set, go. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Hey, good job. I hope you did all right on those, but now we're gonna get a little bit harder. I'm gonna mix them up on you. Those went in order, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. This time, there'll be no particular order. Are you ready? See if you can say the sum before I say it. Here we go. 14, 4, 24, 16, 6, 22, 12, 20, 18, 10, 8. Well, how'd you do? Did you beat me on everyone? If not, don't feel bad. Remember, the only way to get good at anything in the world is to practice, practice, practice. You have to do it a lot if you want to get good at it. So if you'd like to be quicker at your doubles math facts, just practice them. Have someone quiz you. Have someone help you make up little flashcards so you can quiz yourself. Alrighty, here we go with today's lesson. For today's lesson, you need to go ahead and get out something to write on and your counters. Alrighty, go ahead and dump your counters out onto your workspace. Remember, you should have 20 of these counters and you're going to need them all today. Now, we have learned a lot about equal groups. So the first thing I'd like you to do is please make four groups of two and then put the rest of the extra counters out of the way. Ready, go. Make four groups of two. Alright, here we go. We have four groups of two. Now, we learned previously that in order to figure out how many we have when we have four groups of two, we need to use something called repeated addition, which means we're going to add the same number over and over again. In this case, it would be two plus two plus two plus two. Now, let's try to add that up. Here we go. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. Ha ha! That's mental math for you. I just added those all up in my head. Okay, here we go. Now, there's something that you could do to make this addition go even faster. Watch this. I can take these four groups of 2 and turn them into 2 groups of four, and if I know my doubles, I know quickly that four plus four is eight. It makes adding a lot quicker if we can do things like this. Combine the groups up into two different equal sized groups, and we can use our doubles to add them all up. Let's try another one. Here we go. Now, let's make six groups of three. So I want you to go with you, take your counters and make six groups with three in each group. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are my six groups of three. Now, take a look at this and think, is there any way that we could combine these up to make bigger 
same size groups so that we could add them a little faster, faster than going three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. What would you do? How could we combine them to make something that's easier and quicker to add? If you said to do this and make three groups of six, then you were thinking exactly what I was thinking. We can make three groups of six. So, let's see here. If we have three groups of six, that would be like going six plus six. And I know, because I know my double specs, that six plus six is 12. See how quickly I can do that in my head once I learn my double specs? Now, adding the next six on is a little more challenging, but I can say 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, I have 18 M&Ms all together. Now, is that the same? Let's check ourselves as if we had these in groups of three. I'm putting them back in groups of three. So when I had them at six plus six plus six, I got an answer, a sum of 18. Let's see if we get the same sum when we add three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. So three plus three is six. And six plus three is nine. And nine plus three is 12. 12 plus three is 15. And 15 plus three is 18. <laughs> What do you know? We got the exact same answer. So six groups of three is the same as three groups of six. Very good. Let's talk about what this would look like if we were doing it on paper and not just with our counters. Go ahead and put your counters away. We're done with them. If we were going to do this kind of addition on paper. Let's practice what that would look like with the same groups that we just did with our counters. So let's draw what we did first. Four groups of two. Ready? Go. Does your paper look like my board does? Great. Now, let's write out the number sentence that would represent this picture. Go ahead and do that for me. How are you doing so far? You keeping up? Good job. Now, let's see what it would look like if we combined some of these equal groups and made bigger groups so that we could use our doubles to quickly add. It would look like this. I combine these twos to bring make four. Then I combine these twos to make four. Now let's fill in some sums here. Two plus two plus two plus two. Two plus two is four plus two is six plus two is eight. So this would have a sum of eight. Alrighty. Hey, 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 check this out. If I go four plus four, guess what? I get the sum of eight. Any way you add it, as long as you get the same sum, you're good to go. Let's try another one. This time, make six groups with three in each group. Ready, go. Here are my six groups, and I have three dots in each group. Okay, let's write out the number sentence that represents this picture that we drew. Ready, go. If your board or paper that you're using to write on doesn't look like mine right now, will you please fix it so that it does look like mine? Good job. All right, now let's take a look at this. We did it with our counters, but now let's do it on the paper and show what it would look like. We're going to combine these groups so that we can make some larger equal sized groups that we can quickly add. Go ahead and try it without my help first, and then I'll show you how to do it if you're not sure.
Alrighty, here we go. Just in case you didn't get yours correct, check this out. 3 plus 3 is 6. I knew that because I knew my doubles. And since I have all these 3's I can combine. I have two 3's here, so that makes 6. I have two 3's he here, so that makes 6. I have two 3's here, so that makes 6. Now adding is a little bit quicker. I can say 6 plus 6 is 12 because I'm pretty darn quick at my doubles. And then I just have to figure out what 12 plus 6 is. And I know that that's 18 because 6 plus 2 is 8. So here we go. 18 is my sum. What do I get 18 when I added all these threes up the long, slow way? Let's find out. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm using my touch points. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. What do you know? We get the same sum no matter how we do it. It's just a bit quicker when I can do it this way. Okay, we're going to try something a little bit harder now. So if you could please get ready, get a clean space on your paper or erase your whiteboard, here we go. Let's please make five groups of two. So five groups with two in each group. Ready, go. Here we go. I have five groups with two in each group. I think you know what I'm going to ask you to do next. Will you please write the equation that goes along with this picture and this time also fill in the sum. So tell me how much this all adds up to. Ready? Go. What'd you do? Do you have the same sum as I have? 10? Oh, very good. Okay, now we're going to try it a different way. Let's see if we can combine any of these groups down here to make larger groups that we can add quickly. Ready? Try it. That one was a bit tricky. We actually had one group of two left over that I couldn't combine with anybody else. So I have two plus two here makes four. And then I have two plus two here, which also makes four. But then I had this group of two over here that I couldn't add to anybody else. So I just made sure to bring them down. That way it's not left out and we still get the correct sum. Let's add these up. Four plus four is eight. Boom. And eight plus two is, what'd you say? Ten. Bum, 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 bum. Alrighty, great. Now, we could even take this one step further. Do you think you know how? Try it. Ha <laughs> ha, did you come up with the same thing I did? If we combine these two equal sized groups, four and four, I know that four plus four is eight. So all I really have to do is add eight and two and that makes a sum of 10. Very good. Okay, now let's review what we've covered today. Four groups of two is the same as two groups of four. And six groups of three is 18, which is the same as three groups of six. 18. And Five groups of two is a sum of 10, which is the same as two groups of four plus a group of two, 10, which is the same as one group of eight and one group of two, 10. Very good. Now, I would love it if you would please go ahead and practice these ideas on the assignment that I have attached to this video. Thank you for doing math with me today. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.